Hello, welcome to the session. In this session, we will understand the functionality of loyalty management module in Odoo OpenERP. Loyalty management becomes crucial in retail industry to retain their customer. Loyalty management program mainly covers three sections. One, redeemable points management, gift coupon management and product promotional schemes. Let's log in into the system and see what are all the functionalities involved in each of the above mentioned points. Let's talk first about the redeemable point schemes. This module has given enough flexibility to define different schemes for issue of redeemable points. User can create redeemable point schemes based on a total invoice percentage or even can be created on each of the product quantity or the product category quantity. These schemes shall be applicable for a given date range and that too for a specified locations that is branches. Further, rules for points redemption can also be defined as let's say four points per unit of currency. So this will be applicable again for different locations for a given date range. Further to that, you have product promotional schemes. In product promotional schemes, you can create different promotional schemes like buy one get one free for the same product. Maybe buy X get Y free on for different products here the unit price can be changed based on the number of quantities purchased the discounts that can be availed by the customer on different quantity slabs like for one customer may get 10% of discount for two quantities 15% discount on each quantity here we can define the products on which it is applicable and the locations where these schemes are applicable. Lastly, a volume discount. On purchase of a certain number of products, price will be offered to the customer. Let's say on purchase of say three quantities, final price will be of say 1000. For gift coupon management, we have made certain changes in product master where products can be defined as coupon. So when a product is marked as a coupon, it will carry some validity in number of days shall be valid from the date of sale. Let's go to POS session to understand how this functionality works. I will explain each point through an example. Let's say this lace pickles is a product where I have applied one scheme that is buy one get one free. So if a customer brings two quantities of the lace pickle system will bifurcate them according to their schemes applicable. You can see one quantity is fully charged and another quantity is fully discounted. Similarly, we take another example where if I purchase routers in two quantities, I can get a 15% discount. So if I change the quantity of router to one, I will get 10% discount automatically. Next, now let's say there is one scheme where if I purchase one PC, I will get one standard headset free. So to the counter, say these two products and if I again click on check for scheme button, it will check for the schemes any applicable on the selected product and you can see the headset standard is fully discounted on purchase of PC assembled SC234. Finally, let's talk about the volume discounts like 
if I purchase Windows Professional in three quantities, I created a scheme which says overall 1000 is supposed to be paid. So you can see and the prices are changed with respect to their discounts and the final amount is about to be 1000. This is how the product promotional schemes work in this particular case. Now we'll talk about the point redemption. So let's say in order to achieve some points, redeemable points, user need to select at least one customer. So if I select a customer, I can see I have earned 19 points on this particular purchase. So let's say I pay it by say cash validate. This is how the uh, receipt will look like. So in earlier transaction, I have earned 19 points for a purchase. Now let's say I select one uh, product, couple of products and would like to redeem my earned points. So first I suppose to select customer. Let's say I again select AgroLet and click on redeem point redemption payment method. So it shows me that 44 points are available for redemption. So if I put say 40, it will convert redeemable points to its equivalent amount and will get deducted from the total amount to be charged. Rest amount can be paid through cash, bank or check or any other payment method which is configured for a particular terminal. Now let's see how gift coupons works. So this is a gift coupon product which can be sold to any customer and can be redeemed in next purchase. So let's say I have purchased two gift coupons each of 1000. So I, I pay it through cash and validate it. You can see there are two unique barcodes got printed which identifies a unique number and which can be pasted on a pre-printed gift coupons also. These barcodes are supposed to be scanned in order to avail discounts against this particular gift coupon. Now let's redeem these gift coupons on next purchase. So let's say I procure say three pieces and would like to redeem my gift coupon. So when you click on gift coupon redemption payment method, it will ask for a gift voucher code to be placed. So here user supposed to scan gift coupon number and add it to the payment method. So it will identify a scanned gift coupon barcode and converts it to equivalent amount. If we attempt to add it again, it has a validation so that user should not scan it twice. Rest amount can be again redeemed So here 12 points are available now for AgroLate. I place 10. So it is now 2 rupees and rest amount I will pay through let's say cash. So this is a final receipt which will indicate payment modes have, that have been used for the payment. This is how the functionality of loyalty management program works. Thank you.